it, it's just content. It's a fucking uh, reaction. It ain't no compilation like of K Slim moments. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, I used to watch uh, that that uh, variant channel um, back in the day, son. And we're live. <laughs> we didn't catch nobody this time, KC. Yeah, like I, I looked up like at the perfect time. I was like, I was kind of hoping Fire was to say some crazy shit. So you was gonna say something? Wow. Yeah. Not at all. That's how white people sing rap whenever they don't know. Uh, I think what Trey said, what the fuck is he saying? <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Trey. <laughs> oh, man. Tex said that he was ass, didn't he? Mind you, I, I never said knew it sounded like some black root shit. I never oh, knew the lyrics to that intro, but that's, that's actually kind of fire. What's you crazy? What's good, man? <laughs> we are back with another episode of the Real Rap Coalition podcast, and today we came to bring y'all a brand new series. From I'm about to series. say I don't know if like you know what this series would be called because we did some shit like this with a uh, Secret Invasion. Yeah, it's just X Men '97. Mm-hmm. But yeah, man, we came to bring you X Men '97, man. Freshly, freshly off the press. When did it come out? Today. Today. Premiered today. Really? First two, first mm-hmm. two episodes. Yep. Oh, yep. Shit. Okay. Well. Yeah, Brand. This, this is just. This is kind of like. Nah, no, nah, no. Nah. We never did no show. I think we tried it with The Last of Us. We yeah, I'm about to say show, we tried that like, shit, but like, nobody could ever get there. Yeah. So we. This is our first time doing a show, like the same day it comes out. On the same day the episodes dropped, didn't we didn't do on. Secret Invasion on the day? Yeah, I was about to say that. Yeah, nah, because we was doing them on a Wednesday. It's no way they was coming out on a Wednesday. Huh. I don't know. I don't think so. Shit, it is what it is. But X Men '97, man. Slip. First, first things first. Like, comment, subscribe. You ain't already. You know what I'm saying? Pull up to the podcast on Friday. We watching the wrestler. You know. Uh, Fact, I me. just. I just dropped a um a X Men video. Like, if you haven't seen this yet, stop right here. Go check out my video. It's called. Uh, I reacted to. You said Variant Comics, right? Fireworks. Correct. Yeah, I reacted to their channel. They had a video called um, "Everything You Need to Know Before Watching X Men '97." So, if you need any context from where we're picking up from with this, or if you you know, just want to get a little context, background, anything, and go check that video out, man. Just dropped on the channel. And then come back to this one so you can hear our review. Also, if you like, you know, comic book related content and stuff like that, go watch the Who Would Win videos. You know, we got a That's bunch fun. of them on the channel. You know, we put motherfuckers up against each other and figure out who who getting an ass whooping. Yeah, um, Winter Soldier versus Jack's not doing so hot, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's at like fifty something, I think. It's no, no, it's no, clear. That's, that's, that's it's clear. Like two guns at fifty something. That shit's an ass whooping. I think uh, Thor, um, short got some views, and that was an ass whooping to y'all. Yeah, but uh, oh, that's Thor though. That's Thor. X Men ninety seven, man. For those that don't know, you know they obviously they just dropped it today. It's a new animation project by. Marvel, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you know, Marvel Studios, it, it actually says Marvel Animation on this one. I don't know yeah. how many of those that they have, but uh, it's a continuation of the uh, X-Men animated series from the 90s and shit. You know, they're picking up where they left off as a continuation. Uh, if you're like me, you know, you were a kid watching that shit, you know, it, it, you have some sentimental attachment and nostalgia, you know, associated with it. So I had to come fuck with this, man. Come check it out and shit. Um, I guess the first thing to address is obviously being that this was, you know, close to 30 years after the original. uh, What do we feel about how the animation looks? Uh, I think that shit looks uh, crisp as fuck. Um, Definitely a, a step up from the animation from the 90s. Mm-hmm. Where like like in back in the nineties you can kind of tell that shit was a little grainy. Yeah. Here you know we're, we're in twenty twenty four. Obviously you know the, there's def- definitely gonna be upgrades to that type of shit. So it it looked crisp, man. It looked really good. I gotta be honest with you, man. 
I like they, the the colors are real vibrant. You know what I'm saying? That like a lot of the the things that they do are cool. You know, it's well drawn. My issue that I noticed, you know, through it sometimes, and I think it's just because of this particular style of animation that they chose. I'm not, you know, if Art was here, he could probably tell you what it's called, but I'm not, you know, cultured enough to know what that style of animation is. But I feel like there's some times where, like, I'll just be watching and it'll look like the, the movements drag a little bit. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, like they almost seem like a kind of, kind of, like, it's just not smooth in my opinion. It's beautiful but it's not completely smooth yet, in my opinion. Yeah, uh, um, I agree. I agree with you, uh, KTO. I actually um, felt the same way as I was watching the first episode, um, specifically during the fight scenes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely noticed that. So, go ahead, Slim. Yeah, um, I I kind of agree with both of y'all with the um, that it's clearly kind of better than what it was in the '90s, and that's just a product of the time period and like you know us getting more advanced with technology and things like that but um i, I saw somebody say that i watched like a, a little five minute recap before i um came here just to hear like somebody else's thoughts too and i heard the guy you better say not that, have stole their points bro i mean i don't know if he had any points that i give a <laughs> fuck about but the point that i'm gonna bring up it's for y'all like he's he he mentioned that um he he thinks that so he said that he he liked the animation better but he also said that he thinks the theme song was better back then than the one they have now i don't remember the theme song from back then i'm gonna be honest with you i don't even know if i can play it man copyright yeah I'm definitely not. we'll watch it between like now and episode two and you know i'll address that later on I didn't mind the uh, like the the intro. I think is real cool, you know, like the. Well, they the show everybody's things. characters. Yeah, like they show all the characters, and you know, like it. I, I think that it's a real good like, and I'm not going to use the word introduction twice, but you know, it's good as the return to form. You know, like you're you're reintroducing some shit to somebody, so like it's like okay, like here are all these characters, and like for those that aren't initiated into the x-men universe as much it's like okay here's kind of a a brief you know overview of what you can expect from them and i think that that's dope i think that that's a great first impression yeah i think something that they like so i'm kind of both ways on it like it's pause like yeah yeah that was crazy (laughs) (laughs) yeah so it's it's like he said he'd go both ways on it i'm sorry so So like on one hand i feel like come on man no yeah what are you talking about on one hand (laughs) i feel like that they did a good job kind of throwing the characters in there like they didn't take a lot of time introducing all the characters they really kind of just threw them there yeah and so that's the flip side of it like i don't know if it was just kind of i don't know this morph guy man i don't think he was in the first show i don't don't know this morph guy i ain't ain't seen him i was looking i was like who the fuck is this like yeah i talked about morph on um on the the video i just dropped He, he was in the first show but he wasn't a so prominent some, so, character he was like yeah the a, thing a about morph is, character morph was he was with the x-men and then he um he did this thing where he sacrificed himself to save logan and they thought he was dead and then he yeah. came back and then he flipped over to the evil mutant side yep and then he flipped back over to the so it's like i don't know he he's a guy i'm guessing he wasn't like you said a prominent character but they they did use him in these different um these different ways back in the day so did you know all the rest of them yeah uh i mean you know like i'm this this new I guy was, bro i the was kid. what the new the kid no that's uh, a new character i'm pretty sure right okay. uh, yeah but I'm like like the rest of them like i i grew up as a huge x-men fan dog like that was my shit you know what i'm saying i was a wolverine fan you know, beyond, like, anything. But I thought Cyclops was cold as fuck, you know what I'm saying? Gambit, Rogue, all these motherfuckers. Like, even Bishop, I always thought Bishop was slept on like a motherfucker. I'm, like, I'm hyped that they, you know, gave his character some cool shit to do in this one. Yeah, and and 
in my experience, um, I didn't really grow up watching the X Men animated series a lot. Like I've seen, I saw episodes, but I wasn't really following. But when it came to like the live action movies, I saw maybe like the first four of those, maybe maybe three or four. Uh, and um, there was more than like four of them. Yeah, yeah the, the the first class and the Days of Future Past and all that shit. Well, you get so you got you got the um. The, I've never seen know, any the, of the Wolverine movies. Yeah, yeah, you got the you got the original trilogy, then the reboot, which starts with I believe uh, first class, and then obviously you got your uh, side stories with the you know uh, X Men Wolverine yeah, movies. Age of Apocalypse, so, I think. Yeah, Days yeah, of Future so Past. They, um, they got a shit ton of them, man. They're all on yeah. uh, Disney Plus too. So. Yeah, and know. so the original trilogy. I didn't really um, watch the original trilogy. I picked up. I don't know if I've ever seen them or not, but I picked up at first class for sure because I saw that multiple times and I watched maybe like the the ones in succession of that. I didn't see um what what was the 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 last ones with that? Because when when Jean Grey came with um the when did Jean Grey come into it? When like of what? What do you, yeah, what do you, the, do you, the, the, the movies? No, the, so first class was like 2011 or something like that, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And so that was uh, Professor X and Magneto and then all the shit. That's when he did the quarter shit. Yeah. And then maybe like the next uh, two? I don't fully I, recall those movies. As do you know well. the order like I, say, I watched the Wolverine it's, shit and I yeah. watched the original trilogy. I watched uh, first class and I like watch Days of Future Past, but I didn't watch like I, so I don't you didn't fully watch remember. that era of it. Like I don't fully remember that one, you know. So I'm the opposite because I didn't watch the original trilogy and I didn't watch the the um Logan series. I didn't watch yeah, any you of the never Wolverine. Never got movies. to see Hugh Jackman be Wolverine hardly. Nah, like I know in the first one, like they he was there and they asked him to join. He was like, "Fuck out of here." Mm -hmm. I seen that. So nah. so so it'll, with the reboot, it'll start with uh, first class, then it'll go to Days of Future Past, and then uh, yes. I believe uh, the it ended with uh, Age of Apocalypse. I think it's called. Yeah, but the, but there like were that. others so, after that too. Yeah, of course, of course. And um, I didn't I didn't see the ones after that. I don't think. So, yeah. well, let's not let's not get too sidetracked here. Fuck out of here, nigga. X Men ninety seven. You know what I'm saying? They, they like. Charles Xavier has just been killed. Oh, yeah, spoiler alert. Charles Xavier has just been killed like a motherfucker. The X-Men, you know, they don't know what they're finna do. They're still being hunted, you know, by the, the regular people with the Sentinels and shit. You know what uh, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, like, so this is, the, that's, that's where we pick up here is they're just trying to help, you know, the oppressed mutants of the city and, you know, stop like figure out how to be X Men again for real. Yeah, because um, these mutants is going for like he said like ten k a pop. Too. Yeah, and then they, but he really hold the fuck out of him. He was like he was like my parents will pay you whatever you want type shit. He was like, hey man, it ain't about the money. You know what I'm saying? Like he was talking, he was talking about ten k. He said I don't give a fuck about the money. I I don't like you. So like, so just to just to my fault to interrupt. Just to um add a little bit of more background. Um, <clears throat> so. The beginning of the episode, we we see them uh, unite to save uh, this new mutant. His name is Roberto Da Costa. Da Costa. Da Costa, and um, he essentially was kidnapped by a group called the Friends of Humanity, mm -hmm. which is uh, mm -hmm. a group that's pro uh, human. So they don't believe in that um, that message and and wave that the X Men are trying Real to quick, um, hey, bring into man, the this, world. This yeah. whole X Men shit is just like a, it, it always has been a, a like thinly veiled metaphor for racism so like let's get that out it the really way right has now. it really has you know really what has. I mean? <laughs> so the friends of humanity were pro-human yeah i know what that means yeah i used <laughs> to say that uh <laughs> professor x magneto was the martin luther king malcolm x thing yeah uh-huh go ahead uh fireworks and uh this uh this dude roberto da costa um he he kind of just wants to be a regular human and uh instead of like you know figuring out more about his powers and, <laughs> and, and accepting himself uh, being a, a mutant and whatnot. So, boy, you know. Here as hell, boy. 
essentially. And we and uh, spoilers, <laughs> spoilers. Towards the end of the film, we find out he's a rich dude as well. He just hasn't he hasn't told his Maybe parents we found about that his powers. Out at the beginning. Well, that too, that too. I but, found that out at the beginning. They could have opened the scene. <laughs> well, yeah, that, 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 that too. Film. Yeah, I ignored that. <laughs> No, but, I'm uh, sorry, I got used to that. <laughs> we start out like they did exactly what they should have done because the cold selling point of this shit is like the fight scenes. That's the best shit about like this episode, in my opinion. I'll just say it now. Is like the fight scenes look fucking amazing. Like all the, the mutants get to like use their powers, you know, in different uh like ways and shit, you know, creative shit on the screen. You know, like that is the most interesting shit to me because I think they made it look visually beautiful. And I think it gets across like how interesting and, you know, powerful and dynamic these characters are, you know, like. Hey, KT, you know something? Huh? Now that you say that, I'm thinking about it. And like, I agree that it looks good. I I wasn't really just like super impressed by the fight scenes and i'm thinking that it may be because of what you mentioned earlier about the animation style how it kind of seems like kind of slow uh-huh like it's lagging <laughs> yeah and so maybe that's why like it didn't really just pop to me but it like you said it definitely looked good for sure like when storm made that big ass volcano light well beyond that my bad bro, not volcano fucking, my bad uh... let me get let me get my natural disaster right bro not volcano uh, tornado, my bad. They they got the same syllables and shit. When she made that tornado Waterfall lightning lake. thing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wasn't even gonna get to that one yet, but yeah, like that, like that, that shit looked fire. Well, yeah, like so. Let me let me start with the the first shit. Like I say, Cyclops was doing some cold shit in that warehouse and shit. That motherfucker, like they were gonna attack him. Did. He literally used his his eye lasers to push himself. And dude, backwards out the way of oh, his yeah, that back. was different. You that know was what hard. I'm yeah, no, and that was he hard. He was just he was cooking them boys slim. All them folks, he was beating the shit out them. You know yeah, I mean Cyclops saying? is Cyclops, but that was different. He he did some shit like that too when they was falling, when they was yeah. falling from the sky. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, so that, was that boy stopped himself from falling at like however many thousand feet, you know, just by force of eye laser. Storm came in that bitch too. Well, Storm came in there. First, right? Yeah, Storm well, yeah, Bishop? it was Storm and Bishop, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, Cyclops. You know what I'm saying? And they was they was getting on them folks' ass, boy. They didn't stand a chance. Like, and then they finally, like, they, you know, they thought they had, they got big bad Cyclops all, you know, tied up, paused. That motherfucker took his visor and shit, and he, you could just see the outside of the warehouse, all the windows bust out that hole, boy. That was a horrible mistake they made. And they ran up on a vet, you feel me? And they got and, smoked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and KTL, that's what I was saying. Uh, somebody joined the, the stage, uh, whoever that is. But uh, yeah, KTL, that's what I was saying about um, like it was really was no build up to the characters. They threw them all on screen. How did y'all feel? Like let me well, let me break it down what they did. They they had the three of them, like we just said, with Storm, Bishop, and Cyclops. They had all of them in the first fight. And then after the fight, we go back to the school the and they show Gambit. Too. Yeah, they show Gambit and they show Rogue. And then uh-huh. after after that, Morph comes in, like looking like As Professor Charles X. Xavier and shit. Yeah, them and then Jean Grey Jean come Grey. in with a stomach poking out. And then <laughs> after that, they go to the the beast. Uh, I think this is the first time we see Jubilee too, huh? Mm, yeah, probably. yeah. I, I thought in a minute, in a hot minute before, but I don't no, know. No, no, yeah, she was in the last series as well. No, she existed, but she wasn't. Um, oh, she wasn't really a part show? of the team. Yeah, yeah, on the show, I meant, but Jubilee wasn't really a part of the team. She was like, um, and that's kind of like she gave him a little speech like that too, like when she first pulled up, like mm-hmm. when she first got there. She was like a kind of like a newer recruit back then. She wasn't really. But yeah, part she's of the like team. like the, a lot of most of the rest of these motherfuckers is adults. She's really just a she's kid. a kid. Yeah, you know, she's right? like the same age as him, probably. Did y'all see them like doing the little shit they was doing, like flirting and shit? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Not, man, not who not the only fuck that. is high? My bad, fireworks. Who the fuck is high? Man, that, you know who that is. Is it John though? I fear. No, no. I fear love the X Men. Yeah, I figured it was you. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, my no. first guess, buddy. <laughs> but uh. 
Yeah, and then you get Big Bad Wolverine, you know, at the at the end. He the last. Oh one yeah, he he up. pull up in the little training thing you know where man. they show Magneto and shit. That boy that was make, immediately thought, on action, but he thought he thought he was Wolverine a fucking, was assimilation. Yeah, he thought he was a fucking hologram <laughs> or some shit. He said, "Hey, cut this shit real quick. Hey, you know I could really do that to you, huh?" <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> Nah, that was crazy. Oh, my good boy. And then, like, Wolverine, I, I'm not going to lie to you, man. That's the other thing I will address. There are some good voice actors. There are some <laughs> bad voice actors in this shit. I don't like Wolverine's voice actor. I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, not, yeah. It's not horribly offensive, but I much prefer, like, the, the motherfucker that used to, you know, voice him for the video games and then the TV shows and shit. I don't know what oh, he yeah. was doing. Why they I get who he is. Talk about, talk about Steve Blum. Yeah, Steve I don't Blum. know why they couldn't get him. But hey, KT, and I get who he is. That is Steve what he Blum, is. If fireworks, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I I get what he is and who he is, but also like, I don't know if I can really get with this style of Wolverine after like seeing Hugh Jackman live, like how he oh, I don't portrays mind. Wolverine. You were talking about him being an obstinate dickhead. That's just Wolverine. No, not that. It's just he's more like a. I'm not not obstinate dickhead. He's more like a, a um, like a savage. Yeah, and not in a good way. Like a savage. Like why a savage. not in a good? Well, why is that a bad thing in any capacity? Uh, no, the, the, well, the savage because... is not good. The the savages. I'm saying like why like what you know what I'm saying what is is the negative takeaway from this? No, because we kind of we kind civilized or uncultured like yeah, yeah. no in the in is the that, movies oh, he's more that's him. Brand- like he'll use his brain first type shit. He's more reserved in the movie a little bit. You feel me? And he cooler. Like this nigga, like whack as fuck. I don't know. I think I think you know what I'm saying. He, he on action at any point in time. Like I, yeah. I fuck with this shit. But a Wolverine always on action. But I'm saying like the character. I don't know, man. This nigga, is, he might be a. I don't want to call him an idiot. I don't know what he is. Like I say, oh. I I fuck with the the <laughs> Jean Grey and Cyclops voice actors. <laughs> More voice actors, all right. Bishop voice about actors, the... all right. But it sounds Storm. like he still sounds like he's stuck in the '90s, like he's just a '90s black dude. You know what I'm saying? What about the Storm, <laughs> huh? Storm. Uh, Storm, Storm's worst for, for me is uh, it was like yeah. hit and miss. Along uh, also also along with uh, uh, Gambit's voice as well. It's like I I yeah did, I don't remember Gambit's voice being like it like him being a country like bumpkin. Well, yeah, that country, accent. He's from like he's from Louisiana. Like that motherfucker. We, like, we don't talk do, like that. They, they, they <laughs> tried to do an Oslin, They try to do some deep Cajun shit. Like, you hear me? You ain't Cajun. <laughs> you ain't either, bitch. I don't care. I don't sound like that. I know you don't. Exactly. So what are you comparing to, idiot? You said I wasn't Cajun. Nigga, I just said you ain't either. Yeah, so why are Fireworks you saying this either. when I'm talking about Gambit? I can say what the fuck I want to say. We don't talk Fucking like that. Stupid. We don't talk like that, you bitch ass nigga. It's not you. You stay five minutes from Louisiana. What are yeah, you talking about? Yeah, my family live out there. My family are these type of people. I and know they don't they talk sound. like that either. That's Cap. That's Cap. Shut up. Your white ass family don't talk like that. They right, literally right, right. only the white <laughs> folks talk like that. Oh my god! No, not out here. <laughs> yeah, you don't be around them. <laughs> Rogue, Rogue is just like a, a country ass Georgia bitch, you know. Yeah, them accents is crazy. Jubilee right? is all right. Like she just sounds like a kid, you know. what I'm saying like a young girl. Like she, but she, but she's not actually a kid, right? Ain't she? Is she more like a young adult? Or like, I mean, but my my point being is she just sounds like a teenage, you know, young adult girl. Uh, Beast, Beast sounds all right. I think like, Beast, Beast cool. Just like you know, he's intellectual and shit but uh, uh let me ask y'all a question um the scene where it's fight scene where they said there were only two of them so the, nah, that wasn't fight a fight scene, scene. yeah no nah, that wasn't a fight scene i'm talking about the scene where they they're they're talking to um uh was it old dude in the jail uh Ga- yeah. Ga- garrick 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 i think it's garrick. His name. something yeah. like that the yeah. scene when they're talking to him and uh gene gray has the helmet on yep yeah, and she's going Sorry, through bro. his mind and shit, and there's this, like, where her baby is like, it comes out and she's holding the baby, and then there's this little tornado kind of thing that just, yeah, zooms by and says, "I'm sorry, not again, this and that." Um, y'all got any, any insight on that? Any thoughts on that? Um, 
All <clears throat> I can, well, first off, all I can assume is, you know, because the way Cerebro operates and shit, you know, it amplifies the, the powers of any telepath that exists. Right. That's why, you know, uh, Professor X and Jean Grey and them, they can use it. So I just assume that it's some other telepath fucking with her. There's a possibility that, like, maybe, you know, Professor X isn't really dead and it's some shit associated with that. Maybe, you know, communicating through Cerebro. It could be, you know, some type of, uh, like, you know. Or shadowing. Malevolent, you know, entity. <clears throat> because, like, Jean Grey still does deal with the whole Phoenix Force <laughs> thing and everything. You know, yeah. like so <laughs> I'll give um a I don't know it's a not theory. really a prediction yeah but a theory and I kind of mentioned it on the last video because the guy uh was bringing up these different possibilities and so shout out to that bitch ass dude <laughs> he talked about the um potential of having cable in the series and as you know t- cable is a time traveler. Well, that's and, who Cable is. You know that, right? What? Like Cable is Scott and Jean's great uh, baby. It's not. It's not. I mean, his original mother is not Jean, but I mean, she is pregnant. So it, it could be Cable. Well, I'm just saying, like in the in the comics, like that's their baby and shit, you know. And he goes back to try to, you know. All of that shit, woo up the bam, fix the best. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Like with but it the, could the be. whole baby thing and then the voice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it could be some shit with cable. I don't know. Mm-hmm. That would be yeah. that would lead to some interesting stuff with like him and Bishop and whatnot. You know? That's what I was wondering, like him and Bishop being on the show together. I didn't think they would do that, but after seeing that scene, like I don't know. I think it's a they got a lot because I want to say they probably have like two seasons of this shit loaded up low key. You know? Yeah. Like, um no nah, this is the, this is the first home. season. The second season is in development and I think they're going to do a third season as well. Yeah they got it, but um, either way they've got like a lot of storytelling to do so they probably have a lot of ideas planned out. You they know? should so, it's been thirty so years. So according to like like reports uh, on before the uh, <laughs> before the season premiere uh they really fucked with Bo DeMaio's vision of the show. And uh, Fireworks they, for those uninitiated, who is Bo DeMaio? The nigga that, you know, took over this project. But anyways, I'm not going to go into <laughs> his little controversy because that's a that's a different, um, that's a different you know, uh, you got topic for a different huh? Controversy, right. huh? Fireworks? You know, this is what we do at the Real Rap Coalition podcast. You got controversy, huh? <laughs> well, anyways, uh, yeah, they, they really fucked with his vision and whatnot. Through. <laughs> and uh they they went went ahead and greenlit the second season as well as the third so that you know that that's definitely saying something but uh this first season is uh only packed with 10 episodes so that's that's pretty cool you they're me? dropping them weekly short, right to the point yep most definitely short to the point so but um so yeah like i say and then we like i say the final fight scene was really good to me as well you know what i'm saying i think it like it sold uh, like the the whole teamwork aspect and shit, you know, you got uh like uh, everybody got to do some cool shit. I thought Beast did some cold shit. That motherfucker like jumped in a hole in a sentinel chest and right. took over that motherfucker when he had no head and started beating the shit out, folks. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like Storm gets to pop in and motherfuckers get shook. They talking about the Omega level mutant and shit, you know, and she just makes a volcano and whatnot and uh. You know, Wolverine gets to do some cold ass shit to the big bad Sentinel and shit. You know, all they're working together. Morph turns in a blob and shit. And, you know, they they boost Wolverine to cut the head off that motherfucker. Like, it was a lot of cold shit, man. You know, we already addressed they have to jump out of the X-Jet and shit. And, you know, everybody else gets saved by flying Cyclops. He stops his descent to Earth by virtue of laser eyes. That was cold as fuck. Um, I just think that like they did a lot of good shit here because I think they got to show a lot of who the characters were, whether you like them or not, like, you know, Cyclops and his internal struggle of being, you know, just Captain America, the fucking boy scout, you know what I'm saying? Like he's trying his best to lead a team that he's not prepared for dealing with his insecurities and his pregnant wife and all this other shit. They put a little bit of the, um, 
the Cyclops Wolverine. I was about to say into. Wolverine and his insecurity dealing with Gene and, you know, not liking to take orders from Cyclops and shit. Yeah. You know, all of that shit. Jubilee gets her little romantic subplot, you know, with this this new character and shit, you mm-hmm. know. Uh, we also, we also um, you know, get a little bit of Jean's uh, thoughts about the current state of the X-Men and, like, her future plans, how she, now that she has her kid with uh, Scott, she would like for them to, to live a know, normal life live a normal life yeah and then just you know for them to essentially leave the x-men which you know they do announce at the end of the, the episode yeah rogue the end of the gambit episode going. too yeah rogue, rogue, and rogue, rogue and gambit they get their like romantic subplot while you also get to hear rogue talk about like the big plot point of her character has always been that like she hates that she can never touch anybody you know what i'm saying like if she said if she was down there in the club like she brushed into somebody they might be all fucked up afterwards, you know. Mm-hmm. So that's her, you know. Like they 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 did a lot in thirty minutes. I'll just say that, you know. And then the end of the episode, boy, I knew that, that was, was happening. That was some cold shit. Yeah, I knew it was gonna be something, but I didn't know exactly what it was gonna be. But that's fire, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I didn't know what it was gonna be. I knew it was about to be him. Big bad Magneto pops up and basically tells him like, hey. Here's here's Professor X Will and he left all this shit to me. It's gonna be some changes around this motherfucker. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and that's that that's what we're left off with, man. They the credit scene is cool. You know, like they have like the little point and click. I didn't see the credit of all the scene. different powers. They it shows oh, like yeah, I didn't watch they that. click on all the different mutants and show the powers and shit. I think that's cool. Yeah, stop that. You know. Like, what? I think, I think. Yo, that that last oh, scene. Go ahead. Yeah, that last scene. Uh, I think it was Scott. He was like, "Magneto, what are you doing in our house? <laughs> I think like, Your house." And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say, "Oh, hey, you must not have read this, huh? You ain't got one of these." Like, <laughs> how did they not know about? How did Magneto know, and they didn't know about? Because that was his partner, Slim. Like they went way back. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact, but these niggas is his um team students. Uh, it's, like, a, it's the same way as like Batman keeps secrets and shit from folks. Like a motherfucker thinks that they just the de facto leader of everything. Like they over all these folks, they gonna keep some secrets, Slim. Hey, yeah, if you, God forbid, was not here no more on uh-huh. this earth, I know that Black Roots and Luno would know about your will. That's not true. It is. I wouldn't tell neither of them. I'd tell they would have They would have signed documents. <laughs> no, I'd tell Nigga, Pools. Nigga trolling, bro. I'm just, yeah. No, yeah, he I'm, trolling. I'm 100% serious. He trolling. Works. If it was anybody, like, it, it ain't going to be Bob or Ruth. Luna going like, to put it on his refrigerator. Who else going to lose the motherfucker? He's drunk. Like, but, yeah. Who else, uh, and then Pools going to say RPKTL, man? He was a real nigga in this hoe. And then he going to forget it. We're going to pour this, pour this 40 out for him and shit. He's going to forget right, about it in 20 to, minutes, KTL. Hey, now, now run some sets, fear. Like, <laughs> <laughs> run some big, sets. Big bad Jackie outside. <laughs> like, Auntie Jackie. Auntie ja- 96 views. 96, 96 comments. 96 comments. <laughs> He's going to title the stream RIP KTL. Hey, look, we're Not- going for 110 this time, Slim. <laughs> Going for one ten. Auntie Jackie outside. <laughs> Fucking uh, but yeah, you find out like within the show, you know, you got like Roberto. He's got some type of solar energy power. That's probably gonna be like some real crazy, you know, power level shit when it's unleashed. But he don't even yeah. like that shit. He's an insecure little bitch. You yeah, know, they're doing the- this thing with him that they did with uh Buddy and Mortal Kombat. Uh, Cole. Yeah, kind of. But I mean, like, at least Cole, like, wanted to get active. This dude here, he's like, yeah, I don't want to do nothing. I want to go be a rich kid. But but we didn't talk about his reason for it. I mean, it doesn't really matter his reason. Like, I don't care about his reason. Yeah, but uh, so his his he, family don't. He didn't tell his parents. Yeah, well, And that's his fault, too. But his family don't. Ex- the way he I want to know it. what his plan was, you know, like, because <laughs> that motherfucker was finna have them folks, like, his, his family pay these folks this ransom and shit how is he gonna justify the fact that they had to pay that ransom they got bread like that like what they picked him up for they got bread like that i'm not saying they don't but i'm saying like they definitely gonna wonder hey why did we just have to break off 50 bands i got kidnapped that's it i got kidnapped why they kidnapped you 
because uh, I'm me. Yeah, you see. Well, I just figured he'll say he don't know, but in my case, because I'm me. Like, do you think a nigga? <laughs> Yeah, Damn what, that like, whole I, bomb. You hear that fireworks? That shit didn't land at all. I I had to stop myself because I was gonna say something wild. <laughs> so that's why I did that. That, that boy slipped thing folks just crazy. outside trying to kidnap him. Yeah, I started talking about niggas, so I had to put an end to that. I, I would think I would think wow. All right. That's what I that's the truth. That's what happened. They're kidnap fireworks. A, he oh. got government secrets. He got Some niggas are definitely kidnapping fireworks because they ain't kidnapping me like that. Fireworks got Ain't the no football briefcase with the nuclear codes in it. So I think Fireworks gonna get in the car willingly. <laughs> he's gonna no. get in. The, he gonna take open me, the door and get in. There. Take me to my submarine. <laughs> oh wow! Not me. Anyways. I'm kicking. I'm kicking chests. Beat you up. Yeah, beat your ass. <laughs> right, they gonna have to. They gonna have to get through these feet. The fuck is they talking about? And that ain't gay because I know you want to pause it. You're not even you're you not even savable. Like storming them niggas with a oh, belt he, trying to save Slim you. Slim talking about Slim think I want to be saved. I ain't no hoe. I'm saying if you was tied up to that chair, like, they would have <laughs> failed wow. the mission trying to save you. Shit, you KTL. Honestly, that that's I'm about to say that. Yeah, they can't save me. I'm gonna save myself. Cap. You would have died. What do you mean? I'm gonna be out of there. They're gonna be where'd he go? And I'm your parents ain't got no road. money to, to I'm gonna bribe be walking down either. the road with a toothpick in my mouth, flipping no, a quarter. Won't. No, you flipping won't. a quarter and shit. You're gonna be yeah. laying in the fucking dirt like yeah. the sense. Shut up. Yeah, flipping a quarter. <laughs> they can't put me in no, you know, put, they can't put pools in no saw trap. They can't put me in no uh pro human camp. Nah, I don't want to hear that bullshit. You can't do nothing with nobody in this show. That's Cap. Name one. I'll beat the shit out, Morph. How? What you mean? All he gonna do is turn into me. Come on, bro. <laughs> it ain't I know no I can beat the shit it out. It ain't me. no way you. Come on, you should have picked somebody up. He gonna turn into me. I'm gonna just beat the Morph? fuck out. Of you ain't gonna see him coming. He, he gonna Pause. be me. How I'm not gonna see him, Slim? He's not gonna be you. Why he would he be you me. to fight you? He gonna cause he thinks because he turned into the most powerful shit he can think of. He gonna be art <laughs> and beat your uh, ass. He gonna be art. I'm not fucking. <laughs> boy. I'm a he gonna turn boy into art. <laughs> hey, Slim, hey, you should have kept him being me, boy. He turned into art. It's over with. What's gonna happen? What you mean? I'm gonna take that skateboard and bust it over his fucking skull. I don't even believe that nigga skate, bro. But he man, we he just uh, has uh, that whole look cool. Let's get to the end of this episode, man. It's over. <laughs> Fuck art. That was he the end of up. this episode. Yeah, I know. Let's end it off. Let's talk so about when final are we gonna and shit. when are we gonna come back and uh watch the second one? Let's ask that. Uh Loki, we could we could probably uh maybe Saturday. Watch that. It's yeah. out, so whenever the fuck. Yeah, it's out. Like, but but I mean, like I was thinking tomorrow week, type shit. We got a week to I can do it tomorrow too. Out. Well, that I'm don't saying, mean we should we got wait. a week till episode three comes out, so we might could just stretch. Are you available now. tomorrow, KTL? Pause. Uh, maybe, probably. I guess. Let's just do. Let's just do it tomorrow, man. I thought we, we were gonna it. run Nickelodeon shit tomorrow. Well, let's do both. This this doesn't take yeah, long. Yeah, let, let, let's. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. But either way, final thoughts. Um, um it was okay. Yeah. Hold it down, Powers. I'm first. It was okay. Um, fuck out of here. I think, I think it was a, shut your bitch ass up. I think it's a good, <laughs> a good way to like. Engineer. Can you shut the fuck up? I think it was a good way to yeah, set the tone, them. the pace. Who me a firework? <laughs> me? Make, what? <laughs> firework go get the car. stops really? mid thought just to answer that. Come There's on, no dog. way, fire. I, I never get kidnapped. The fireworks there. I beat his ass. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you could try some. You could try. You and your sailor friends? I beat the fuck out them. Nigga said sailor friends. Fuck out of here. End the episode, nigga. Bitch. But yeah, man, what I was saying was that um, I think it was a good way to you know open it up. The pacing was okay in this. I mean, I mean the story wasn't really. They didn't really develop a lot of shit yet, but um, the last scene kind of shows us where we're going you know forward uh i'm interested in seeing where it goes i'm not super excited about the show yet um i gave a prediction about my expectation and i said that i think it's going to be at least a solid show um in my opinion in order to make a bad animated show in 2024 uh, you really got to be terrible like you gotta be trash at, at doing this shit. 
and I don't think Marvel is going like Marvel's put out some bad projects, but um, to make a bad animated show, you really got to be fucking terrible. So I don't know. Um, I'm looking forward to see where it goes. I, I think it was cool to open up, but you know, I'm I'm looking for more. I'm looking for more next episode. So um, what I was gonna say was the episode was pretty standard. Um, you know they they uh, stopped the bad guys. You feel me? They saved the day, and then they set up something for the future. So um, decent start. Uh, I thought the episode was uh, pretty cool. Definitely nostal- uh, brought back a lot of nostalgia when I um, uh, seen the opening <clears throat> theme. And uh, yeah. Um, They've been working on the show for a minute, and if they they really really trust uh, Bo's vision on this, uh, and I'm considering that a lot of people got to watch the show um, before it got released, and it ended up getting really really positive reception. Like I, I think I think the show is in good hands. So yeah, looking forward to the rest of the season. Only ten episodes too, so I got a harper on that fact. So yeah, man. Uh, you know, there's some, the X Men are some of the most interesting characters within the Marvel Universe, like, just based off of, uh, you know, the, their character progression. I think they get better, you know, character motivations and story arcs than a lot of the uh, the Cinematic Universe characters get. Uh, with a series like this, they can do a slow burn on a lot of things, introduce some interesting characters, uh, you know, tell some cool stories and shit. Uh, it's got the nostalgia element for people that watched the old series and shit. You know, I know at least a couple of people that are on the podcast said they're going to go back and watch the episodes of the old show, you know, like now to catch up with everything. Uh, so I think that's good. I think that's a solid business model. Um, like I say, some of the voice animation or the voice actors are hit or miss. Some of the animation could be better, but overall, it's a really solid project. I think that they'll fine tune the formula as they go on. Um, but I think that this was a good introduction, well, reintroduction to the X-Men for the, you know, the motherfuckers who wasn't alive 30 years ago and shit. All right, man. And before we close this out, man, we, we don't usually keep records for the side projects. We don't officially count them, but. I do want to know y'all opinion, man. If you had to rate this out of 10, what would your rating be? Fireworks. You want to go first, Fireworks? Oh uh, yeah, I give it a I give it a 7. 7 out of 10. ATL. Probably a 7.5. Slim, I give it a 7. Yeah, so it's 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 average to above average from the sounds of it. You know, it is the introduction. They did some good things. There are things to improve upon, but We'll see what the next shit gets. All right. All right, man. Anything else before we get out of here? Y'all join us. You know, the next week or so definitely is going to be busy for us. We got a bunch of things that we got planned on doing. If you haven't already, go watch uh, Showtime Slim react to everything you might need to know about this shit. And shout out Black Roots. He's sick as fuck, but he's still got a beat here. All right, man, this has been the Real Rap Coalition Podcast, and we are out. Hey, 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 it's the podcast. Hey, it's the podcast. Hey, it's the yeah, podcast. Yeah, they're going to hear that. Hey, the fuck out him, it's they the podcast. I'm talking about <laughs> <it. Fuck up. laughs> <Not> work. <laughs>